You're their new builder in town. <laughs> or was it someone else? Ah, that's right. There's two of you. Meon and, uh, you must be the other one. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm Hugo, the one and only blacksmith in town. If you need to buy construction materials, upgrade parts for your machines, or obtain top-of-the-line weapons, I'm all you got. But I promise the best. Just check this out. This here is like me, iron tough. That's the quality I'm talking about. Finish that commission, huh? Well, what do you know? Looks like I'm an even better supervisor than I thought. <laughs>
below. Catch you later. So if you'll just move a few decimeters to your left, I think you'll find the pathway to the commission board to have become quite clear, allowing a way for me to snag a commission. Ha! No deal. You can't fool me with your mind games, Mian. Okay, I give up. Look at yourself. How long has it been since you finished that big elevator thing? And you're already back in here. At it again! You need to admit that you have a problem, Mian. You're a workaholic! I wouldn't go that far. I mean, I didn't have anything going on today. What else would I do if I didn't pick up a commission? A whole heck of a lot else! I'ma tell ya! Oh shucks, another one of you! Alright, that's it. This is an intervention. I'm taking the two of you out to do something fun. No commissions allowed. Um, I guess. It wouldn't kill me to take one day off. And I am pretty tired. Hey there! I guess we're going somewhere? Wanna join us? Of course you're joining us! As I was saying, what you two need is to relax. And what better way to relax than a rigorous and debilitating day of mountain climbing and yakmel wrangling? Elle, that does sound really relaxing, but I stubbed my toe this morning. Better stay off the mountains for today. <laughs> so, why don't we just stop into the Golden Goose Gaming Center? Wh huh? G games? Oh, but that's kid stuff. Cool, mature adult type folk like us spend our leisure time running free on the wild frontier and. Fine. I guess if y'all really want to, we can go to the game center. But I'm not playing any y'all's kid games, all right? I'm just there to keep you company and make sure you don't relapse. Woohoo! Now let's hurry on over. We'll see you there.
Hey, thanks, Builder. <laughs> I guess you found it all right down there. <laughs> this little bit'll go a long way. Here's something for your troubles. Like I said, top goals. A new builder? Why wasn't I informed of this? A data disk? Allow me to explain. Data disks are a type of storage medium made of multiple layers of polycarbonate. While many of them don't contain anything useful, some have troves of data on how the old world built their machines and structures. Now granted, we're not yet technically proficient enough to recreate exact replicas of these relics, but with a builder's help, we can get pretty close. Data disks help me create diagrams for new machines, which you can construct on your assembly station. I keep a collection of diagrams, plus potential future plans, with me at all times. So if you need to build something that's not in your handbook, talk to me. Bring me data disks, and I'll give you new diagrams. Simple enough. Come here when you have more data disks. to go in. Ready to get your game on? Well, here we are. Same old game center. Yawn, y'all can pick a game to play. I'll watch. I think I've seen folks on these games before. On some, two people can play at the same time. I guess the point is to see who the better gamer is. Whew, I'm falling asleep listening to myself explain this. Guess it runs in the family. Don't mind her. How about whack-a-mole? Let's try that one first.
That was amazing! How did you do that? You gotta teach me. That was fun. I played that one by myself, but it's even more fun with two people. Eh? Where'd Elsie go? Could she have gone inside? Let's check. Scrub! What the? I lost? Let's go again, you dumb machine! Elle, I thought you didn't want to play. Huh? What? Mion? Bug off! Y'all are bad luck! Oh, dang! I'm out of goals. Mion, how come you never told me how great games are? My heart's pounding! My mind is racing! I've never felt so alive! I... All this broke game and has worked me up an appetite. Onward, posse! Let's head on over to the blue moon to rustle up some grub! Yeah, come on, let's go! This one's on me, cowpokes. Go ahead, help yourself. But don't just go and order all the most expensive stuff on the menu. I only work part-time for my parents. Y'all, hold tight. While you're ordering, I'm gonna go grab a surprise. Don't worry about me, I'll be right back. A surprise? Huh? I wonder what on earth she could be planning. Oh well. Ooh, I never know what to eat. There's so many choices. Uh, why don't you decide? Hope y'all left room in your stomachs for some surprise. Don't be shy. Go ahead and open it up. <laughs> Gosh, Elsie, you really had a gift all ready for us? You shouldn't have. Will you do the honors? on y'all's faces. <laughs> you were all like, ah. Elsie! What? 
I told you I was gonna surprise you. Was I fibbing? I dare y'all to come up with a more interesting gift to give me. I'll be waiting for ya. Well, until then, I bid y'all adieu. That was fun. Until we meet again. See ya! See ya. What did you think of Elsie's surprise? Did it frighten you? So it's not just me. Elsie's always pulling these pranks on me. Sometimes I'm afraid to even leave my workshop. Well, it was nice to get out today anyway. If you get time, you should take your other friends out too. Maybe warm them up with a few gifts if they don't accept your invitation at first? I think you'll find most people to be more relaxing around. Elsie can be a bit... lively. Well, I better get back to the workshop. Catch you later. It was fun today.
Greetings, skinny arms. No doubt you've noticed the countless granules of sand being mercilessly tossed about. This is what we in the business call a sandstorm. I'm here to inform you, as the protector of Sandrock, that you have no need to be afraid. We do recommend staying indoors until the sandstorm subsides, but in case you must go outside, the church has this free set of sand gear for you. Isn't it nice? These will help you move around in the sandstorm, but they sure as light won't help you much against the ravenous beasts that come out during the storms. And in case you're wondering why I am not wearing any sand gear, uh, to an experienced hero such as myself, these raging sands are but a gentle massage on my chiseled jawline. Well, good chat, skinny arms. Try to remember everything I just said. I'd rather not repeat myself. I saw a crazy big wild yakmo wandering around on the way here, so I'm about to clean it up in a minute. Enjoy your gear!
along, partner. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's you. Sorry to holler at you. Glad you ain't one to hold a grudge. Hey, I don't mean to offend, but, uh, the way you handled yourself back there... Say, you ever done much sand fishing yourself? Giving it your all, struggling against nature, never knowing for sure who'll come out on top? Sand fishing's a good way to get your sand legs. And like I said, no offense, but I reckon you can use some toughening up. You're a city slicker, ain't ya? Well, don't you be afraid of the great outdoors now, you hear? That's a whole desert out there just waiting to be explored, and all kinds of sandfish just waiting to be caught. Here's some stuff that'll get you started. Don't worry about hitting me back. I got plenty more where this came from. Well, I'd better get gone and find out what happened to my old man before he finds me and talks my dang ear off. So long!
Hey, you really came through. You're a lifesaver. I'll be posting more supply requests on the commission board in the future, so watch for those.